means to do is come out and see all of you and tell you exciting things. Absolutely. And I mean, it's going to be a big year for us. It's actually, we're celebrating 20 years of making The Sims this year. Yeah. And <laughs> Lindsay and I Lindsay and I keep debating it, but I think this is going to be the best year yet. I think it might be. Well, I mean, really what we want to know is, what have you got for us? Come on, tell of us course, everything. Of course, Well, it is EA Play. We couldn't come empty-handed. So we'll start with our big one first. I'll let you take that. Absolutely. Yeah. So we Let's have go. the next expansion pack for The Sims 4. Sims 4 Island Living. Go. Oh. <laughs> it was leaked already. Let's check out that trailer. Yeah. Okay, Island Living, right, okay. <coughs> it was leaked already. Come on, why couldn't it come up with something that wasn't leaked? That would have been good. Wait, what? What? No. I, I was just waiting for that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so cool. And look, we're in our own little island park. Can I just Ooh. say... Wait, 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 go back. All right, all right, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's close enough. June 21st. I, I was just waiting for that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, June 21st. that was so okay. cool. And look, we're in our own little island park. Can I just Ooh. say, I didn't know what the reveals were going to be. And I this is beautiful. Saw this. <laughs> Super weird. Um, and obviously, you know, talking about fashion, there's a lot of island fashion in there. Um, one of the biggest things people absolutely love. Um, what can we be? What can we dress it up as? What can we look like? Absolutely. Yeah. You know, to capture that island spirit, we needed to have a lot of new outfits and capture those Is colors. Is my outfit going to be in there? You can put the video. Not right? exactly that, but <laughs> certainly not? those bright colors, like you're showing off there. <laughs> um, but you know, we really wanted to add a lot of island wear and that stuff you can stay cool in when it's so hot. That's true. Um, yeah. yeah. And we had to bring in a lot of new fun colors and patterns, but also hairs, accessories, everything to deck out head to toe to just chill and relax on this beautiful island. Uh, and of course, I mean, look, that's some amazing fashion right there. But what if, you know, I'm getting a little bit hot. I'm not someone who likes to dwell on a beach too much. <laughs> yeah, what if I want to go in the water? What's going to be happening there? So we're very excited. So for the first time in The Sims 4, our Sims are going to be able to walk right into the open water. Oh and we're opening up. Yes. Open water gameplay. We've been teasing the, the water. Yeah, yeah uh, this point, I understand. I mean, like you saw in the trailer, she walks right in. <laughs> Our Sims are going to be able to do that, and you can snorkel in the water. There's swimming, floating, um, and there's also those pretty awesome aqua zips. Yeah. You're in a hurry <laughs> to get where you're going. <laughs> so, what inspired you guys to introduce this kind of ocean gameplay this time? Yeah, well, we've taken The Sims to a lot of different worlds and a lot of different places, but we hadn't yet really played with the idea of where the land and the water meet and really bring you bring you into an ocean environment, which seems so like a great addition. Absolutely. I no mean, yeah, go when go I go islands, I'm thinking of, you know, like palm trees, ocean waves, relaxing is, on the beach. Is that like, it? Like, tell Come me more on. about this world. What can I actually do in it? Yeah, so the island of Sulani will have all of those things and more. It really is the perfect place to unplug and enjoy this natural feel. So you can explore all these little alcoves. You can live closer to the coast, or you can live higher higher up towards the hills. Or What's wrong? Yeah. So, no, wait, is there... There's an active volcano here. <laughs> Absolutely. Sorry, you just yeah. want, you were selling me the dream of living on an island. Well, now I'm not sure I really want to go there. <laughs> so it is a real island. <laughs> most islands are formed by volcanoes. Yeah. <laughs> but don't so get know. nitpicky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we had to put this active volcano in there. Now, you don't have to live next to it, but right. the riskier Sims may choose to live nearby. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah. And then, oh, Kel Surprise. You got to watch out for those lava bombs. 
don't, don't, no, no, don't do it. Like, don't. This, oh, The Sims. I mean, don't. I don't know how that was gonna I go. I mean, what but do you expect's gonna well. happen when you touch something yeah. really, really hot? That so, probably yeah. burns. Beautiful locale, slightly dangerous. <laughs> 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 um, what other surprises are in store on this island? I mean, I, for one, want to know if I can befriend any kind of cute animals there. What kind Absolutely. of animals can we befriend? Well, I mean, it wouldn't be The Sims if we didn't let you make friends with some of the animals. Exactly. Um, so in this case, the one we're really excited about is the dolphin. Oh. Yeah. Our, our art team and animators <laughs> just blew away the expectation any, on this. Any the research so much trips fun. like the battlefield oh. team just going off to somewhere hot? No, like, oh, we're going to talk to them island. about how they got to do that. Yeah, clearly <laughs> we missed the angle on that one. But, but they're so cute, and you get to make like a really nice friend with them, and maybe they'll do tricks for you or squirt water in your face. You Absolutely. Know? <laughs> well, and then we also we added a bunch of tropical fish to the water, oh, too. Yes. So we really wanted to get those coral reefs around the island to feel lush and full. And so... That meant more fish. Exactly. I mean, I think, I mean, I don't know. We don't have fish like that in the UK. I mean, we might do, but the water's so murky, I've never seen them. So <laughs> I'm sure they're down like there. I they're mean, they must lovely. be. What do you put with the chips? <laughs> right. I'm sure <laughs> they're beautiful. I mean, they taste delicious. <laughs> <laughs> that going for it. <laughs> I mean, I, I think the island looks, this looks so relaxing. But obviously, it's not really about vacation. It's also, you know, it's, it's about kind of working there as well. But like, um, what's kind of like the feel and the vibe of the island going to be like? You know, I think it's one of those things we talk a lot about in the team is capturing what it would be like to really <laughs> live on that island. It's not just yeah. a place you vacation, but yeah. we wanted this to be a place that's home for your Sims. Or, yeah. you know, so tricks to be played on you. <laughs> well, that happens too. Well, yeah. and so there's lots to do on the beach. You saw sun tanning, sun burning, Lights building day. castles. The whole family can go out and play together, find seashells, or the mischievous Sims, you know, knock things down. Well, and aqua zips. I, I just, I want to say it again. I forgot you But they're so good. The, the, what are they called again? Aqua zips. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's, there's a lot to look at, so you've got to take time to really explore it all. Okay, so obviously we've established that Solani is like a great place for Sims to kind of kick back and to, you know, what, but what if my Sims, you know, they don't want to like, I can't personally lie on a beach for longer than about 30 minutes and get really bored. What if they want to get their hands dirty? Well, I'm very excited about a new thing that we're mm. introducing. If your Sims want a new career to take care of this island, you can actually become a conservationist, and your job is going to be to keep this ecosystem looking beautiful. Yep. Yeah, I mean, it was certainly one of the big goals was a way for your Sims to kind of care for their world yeah. and make it a better place. Yeah, and obviously, you know, very relevant with everything that's going on today in the world and how everyone's kind of a lot more kind of aware. So was that kind of what inspired you guys to, to, to bring that in? You know, I think there's a few things that really hit us. I mean, the first was just it's something we all care about. A lot of us on the dev team worry about the environment and what's mm -hmm. going on. but. We talked about the idea that this island's this closed ecosystem, and so your actions and choices are going to have a lot more impact. And so something new we've mm. added here, and we're really excited about, is the island actually changes over time. So if you're taking care of it, oh, right, okay. it, it'll actually become more lush. You'll see more greenery, brighter, beautiful flowers, and there's Lindsay's favorite part. More butterflies. <laughs> so she really cares about. <laughs> but it also, uh, today happens to be World Oceans Day, which is amazing. It's That's, that's exactly right. what we were talking about. We like totally How do we take care of these ecosystems? <laughs> so obviously, uh, so, yeah, Solani is really, really beautiful. You know, you can kind of go out there, but like, sometimes you want to make a little bit mm. of cash. I mean, you know, like barbecue meat, I presume, is expensive. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, so how can we make some extra simoleons while like we're there? We, said, yeah. we wanted to make this place you live, which yeah. means you've got to have a way to earn some simoleons. Yeah, and so the gap year has to end sometime. Yeah. You have <laughs> to go home and earn some money as much uh, as you So have. we added a couple like odd jobs and things that you could kind of work um, on the hours you want it to, mm. right? And so we've added the ability to make fishing more of a career and then also the lifeguard so you can get your tan while you're working. If you want to spend more time in the water, you can be a dive instructor. There's a lot of different ways to just pick up a job when you want and earn a little bit of money. Yeah. So I suppose one of the important things as well is, as it's not a vacation, as you are actually kind of living on this island, um, obviously, you know, you have to kind of be aware and know what's kind of part of local culture because you're not just there on holiday and you go in and go out, you're living there. So what kind of, uh, you know, the side of the culture of the island can we actually see within? Right, yeah, you, this is a place that you live and the locals are super friendly actually and are going to come and help you out with all sorts of different things well as you explore the island. Things. I yeah. think you were talking about this the other day, like yeah. actually like all the neighbours are really, really helpful and help, yeah, yeah, to help you. You know, like if a fire happens to break out, your neighbour might bust in and help you put out that yeah. fire. Yeah, uh, that's, that's, so that's, nice. that's cool, that's so cool, that's cool, that's cool, okay, also okay their own sort of uh, activities that you might be able to join in. Mm. So you might stumble across a barbecue that they've started in town or a little festival to sort of celebrate things going on. And um, you might even stumble into a kava party. 
Wait, what, a kava party? What's a kava party? <laughs> so a kava is a special island drink that your sim can learn how to make and share with their <laughs> friends on the island. It's one of the many delicacies you'll learn kind of exploring life in Tulani. Yeah, I think it's one of those things we talked about was we wanted to have this island have a little history to it, just yeah. some sense of feeling of some people have lived here a long time, and there are traditions that are unique to this place, the world of Sulani. So how can we kind of learn more about the island's history? God like damn, FIFA going there, on in the background. Aside yeah. from, you know, drinking kava. Well, I mean, <laughs> that might be one experience you should try. But yeah. on top of that, something else the team was really excited about adding is there are these elementals around the island that are kind of these spirits, these ancients who care a lot about Tulani and you know they want to see their world taken care of. When you do good things they might be really happy be and pleased mm -hmm. and if you're bad to the island I don't think they, they may not approve it. <laughs> yeah. um, so you know so like just sting in the tail <laughs> yeah well and we also we added some new traits um, with this pack that we wanted to really let if your sims are super in touch with the land or that's important to you you know mm -hmm. they can really get in touch with the water or the land and unlock some new behaviors yeah okay uh, so from like what we've kind of seen in all the videos, it feels really inspired by like Polynesian uh, culture. So how do yeah. you kind of go about kind of educating yourself to like bring that into the game? Well, every time we make a world, we want to learn uh, a, a lot about the influences that could go into that place because it's not a particular real place, but it's inspired by real places. So short of flying there and researching it ourselves, we reached out. What's that into? I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Well, EA is a big global company, so we were able to reach out to a lot of our friends and coworkers across the company and say, hey, we're looking at exploring a place inspired by this culture. Yeah. And could you share with us some patterns or iconography or symbols or even items that mean something to this culture right. so we can try and create them in a way that feels rich and feels authentic? Well, questions just like, what was iconic to you? Or what do you right. remember when you think back to living in that place? Right. And some of our specific like decor items items came exactly from those recommendations, which is really cool. It's these nice touches that I hope make it feel familiar while still feeling like a new Sims world. Yeah. So not to make light of all that, because I think that's fantastic, <laughs> but I really feel like I've been quite patient up until this point, and you haven't really mentioned it yet. We mermaids! <laughs> what on earth is going on? Come on, let's cut to the chase. Mermaids! Mermaids, tell us everything. There yeah. are mermaids. Yes, yeah. so mermaids are in the pack. Yeah. Um, and I know lots of players are going to be wondering, it is uh, a very fully featured call. You can yep. make them into casts, you can create and style your mermaid, lots of different tales. Um, <coughs> it's a lot of fun. But yeah. also, you know, the mermaids, they can do a little bit more. Obviously, they're very in touch with the ocean life. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, I'd recommend your mermaid meet a dolphin. Uh, that yes. might work out for you. <laughs> um, but lastly, the mermaids have some some pretty cool powers that yeah. you might want to discover. powers? Can we call yeah, them that? Yeah, we could say yeah. mermaid powers. powers. Sounds good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> can you tell us what so they are? There's still a bit of mystery no. to the mermaid. <laughs> like, don't ask me that they on are, stage. They are definitely worth exploring, so <laughs> I can't wait for you guys to get your hands on them. So, of course, I would just love to keep talking about mermaids, but uh, <laughs> no conversation about the Sims would be complete without a chat about, obviously, interior design. So, kind of, what's new for the architects about there? Yep. New okay. homes, new furniture. We saw some, I'm pretty sure we saw some uh, houses on stilts as well over the water, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, so I think, you know, first and foremost, lounge chairs. We're going to go to Island. We're going to live the beach life. I yeah. don't want to sit upright if lounge. I'm <laughs> relaxing. I'm sorry. No so awkward sitting on the stage. Uh, we okay. had to bring the lounge chairs in. But <laughs> then also a lot of that decor to really capture that Polynesian feel, right? And so we wanted to make sure there was that clutter that felt authentic and yep. let it feel like this was home. Yeah, and you can go for this more sort of local style cabana on the beach, or you can go for something a little more high end and modern. We really wanted you to feel like you could create the like getaway of your dreams. Yeah, for sure. And uh, yeah, Steph, I'm so 100% sold on the houses over the water. I'm yeah. much more of a kind of modern sort of house. Yeah, the, for sure. And you might have noticed too, she was able to jump right off of that deck out into the water, which is the great. Best. Like your perfect little escape. Good. I'm, I'm feeling the diving into the water vibe. I right know. Now, it's, it's toasty. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't wait to check out obviously the uh, new Island Living expansion pack. And now that I've got a feeling out that some of you, you know, that you've got some more exciting additional information as well for us. So it's not just that. You've got a bit more news. We to share. do have some more news. In fact, we're gonna kick to somebody else for this announcement. Okay. So here's Joey Here Grisella. we go. Ooh. Here Hello we go. There, everyone, I'm Joey Grisella, and if you didn't know, I absolutely love The Sims, and I'm so excited to announce this upcoming partnership with one of my favorite games. So this summer, The Sims is actually partnering with the amazing It Gets Better project. As part of this partnership with It Gets Better, Sims is going to be releasing pride items in all The Sims products in the next few months. There's going to be a variety of It Gets Better and Pride clothing in Sims Free Play, the Sims mobile app, and Sims 4. 
There's even a gender neutral bathroom in Sims 4, along with a bunch of other items to show off your pride. Thanks so much for letting me share this news with everyone. Now go out and enjoy your EA Play. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> That's so cool to see. That's really, really cool to see. And thanks so much. Okay, for that's good. That's that. good. That's I mean, good. What a great partnership as well to be announcing, of course, because it's uh, it's you know it's Pride Month. It's Pride Week here in yeah. Los Angeles. Um, how are you guys going about kind of you know, supporting that great cause? Well, The Sims has always been a game about being inclusive and the self-expression of creating yourself and people you know and telling your own story. So this is a wonderful opportunity to bring new content in the game to celebrate that. Definitely, and I think also. People don't realize how important it is sometimes, you know, when you're kind of growing up and you're figuring out who you are, you're discovering what kind of person you are and discovering, you know, about your sexuality and yeah. being able to kind of sort of role play within games is a really, really safe place to do that. So, you know, you guys have been doing it pretty much from the start, yeah. way before everyone else. So it's really great. I mean, isn't that great to see? So, so great. Yeah. Well, it's something we're very proud of and having been with the game a long time, it's something that keeps making me excited about being able to do more. Yeah, I love when we get to do stuff like that. It, you know, it just it makes what we do feel so much more yeah. powerful and meaningful. And you know, it's it, I always beam getting to tell people that I work on this game yeah. and that <laughs> we do such amazing stuff. You know, and also when we get to hear from our community about the experiences they've had or how the game helped them get through a tough time in their life or realize something about themselves, it's that stuff really keeps us going as People developers. People forget how powerful gaming is and how much it can really kind of affect and change you as a person and show Absolutely. you stuff. It's, um, it's amazing. So yeah. uh, when can we get our hands on it? Yeah, so it? Joey mentioned briefly, but starting June 18th, the Pride content will come to The Sims 4, and then it will start rolling out over The Sims Mobile and The Sims Free Play a little bit later. Right. So keep an eye out for that. Absolutely. I mean, that's great, but I mean, I think you've actually got, um, this is such a ridiculous, and like, back to that, right? What else? You've got something else that you want to announce in the summer. Oh, What's going on? We actually had, I think, two more things we wanted to yeah. talk two about. More yeah, two so more things. Two more things. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let Lindsay talk about this one. All right. Okay. So first of all, earlier this year, we announced our partnership with Moschino by releasing a real-world capsule collection of looks inspired by The Sims. I see some of them, and I'm yes. very excited. <laughs> <laughs> and we had a hoodie that was actually put into all of our Sims games. So later this summer, we're going to be bringing that fashion and more to The Sims 4 Moschino stuff pack. Absolutely. Amazing. Yes. Yeah. So not only are we going to be looking pretty pretty special, but <laughs> what if we want to kind of go and strut our stuff somewhere else and like really show off the outfits that we've got? Well, so I think one of the things that I'm most excited about in this stuff pack is um, for the first time, we're actually going to add a career as part of a stuff pack. Mm. Okay. And so we've decided the perfect career for this pack okay. is a part-time job as a freelance fashion photographer. <gasps> so you can capture all those amazing looks yeah, your okay. Sims can now rock. That's so me. Yes. Yes. It's going to be fun. That looks really good. I'm excited. Wow, well, like, we've covered so much so far. A new expansion, a new partnership, a new stuff pack, but we're not done yet, folks. Oh, no. no, we're not. Michael and Lindsay brought one more big surprise for all of you guys. Well, so I, I, it away. yes, I know you're all hoping, so we thought maybe we could tell you which game pack we had in mind. Ooh, I don't know. I, I think maybe we could conjure up something. All right, Mike, I'll let you spell it out for them. The next game pack for The Sims 4 is Realm of Magic. Yes! <laughs> you beauty. <laughs> That's amazing. I mean, yes. when are we going to get more info on this? I mean, aside from the fact that you've just told us just now and like you only just told us, <laughs> when are we get more info on this? Uh, yeah, so we will tell you more about the game pack later this year, but you'll have to wait a little more. But, but it is coming this fall. It is coming this fall. Ooh. Yes. Wow. I can't wait. These guys clearly can't wait. <laughs> so We've Lindsay had a and Mike couple community members asking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, We're it's very a popular Who doesn't love a little bit of magic? Yes, it's true. <laughs> so big thank you to Lindsay and Michael, okay. and thank you so much for showing us what's next in The Sims 4. Yay. So let's just quickly recap this, because there's a few things to get through, and it's hot, and you might have forgotten. So uh, the Island Living Reveal trailer is live now. The expansion is playable here at EA Play, and you can play it at home soon. The It Gets Better Pride content starts rolling out, and in a few weeks, oh sorry, in a few weeks, and the Moschino Stuff Pack comes out later this summer. So don't forget to check out all the Sims social channels for even more info and launch dates. So that's it for The Sims. It's been an exciting day here with so, so much news. I can't wait to join the Fan Fest and get my hands on the Island Living Expansion Pack. So from all of us here, goodbye. We'll see you later. <laughs>
AK. Now, um, let's try and launch the free fall. Hmm. Why is Origin refusing to open for me? Da 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 Bum 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 bum. 